Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming back in here with a continuation of the Coliseum Tournament. We are still here in round one. Teams on the battlefield are Carpe Venom and Cloud69 with Carpe Venom winning their defense in the last battle. They have now chosen a new settlement here for them to attack as we said at the end of the tail, at the tail end of that last video, sorry. Uh, we are going to be on the settlement of Bertigala, and yet again, I get to invite Ellington back in to help me cover this battle. Hello, Joe. How we doing? I'm doing pretty good, my friend. How are you? Man, as usual, it's a wonderful day. Absolutely. We're back, back on the battlefield. This time we've got Bertigala as the settlement. Again, I have to say, fan of this settlement. I, I yeah. like the choices so far for the settlements. It's a fun one. But uh, we have uh, battle number two here between Carpe Venom and uh, Cloud 69. Yeah, and as we saw in that last battle, Carpe Venom was successful in their defense, so they were able to choose... Actually, they're on, de they're on the attack, and as you just mentioned, they were able to choose the settlement here, so should be uh, pretty interesting. I do kind of just glossing over their army comps here real fast, and uh, I'm liking what they're. Well, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I, I definitely have to say that I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing in this army attack. I definitely agree with that. Got a much better, you know, compositions. I would say, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to jump in here and just get into Egypt. Egypt's being commanded by Agent Panda. He is bringing with him seven Thorax Swords, six Galatian Swords, one unit of Pikes. I don't know which Pikes they are. I didn't see. Is it just standard Pikemen? Okay. Uh, then he's got three Cretan Archers, one unit of the Nubian Bowmen, a giant Ballista, and his general... Here's a little iffy. His general is a Carrion Axeman. What do you think about that? Me, personally, I'm not a huge fan. Um, but, I mean, it does save money. You know what I mean? It does save you some money for for slightly better troops in other Definitely, definitely agree with you on that. I definitely agree with you on that. And I have to say, I do like the little formation they have here. I don't know if that was done on purpose or however that was done, but I like the little ring circle formation <laughs> here around the ballista. I definitely, that's pretty cool to see. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, moving on over to Massilla here, we have Zoidius. He is bringing with him seven Celtic Warriors, seven Thorax Swords, three units of Gallic Hunters, which actually, as we can see, they are in the strategic position to be able to burn down any sort of wall artillery. As you can see, I mean, they're all perched up. They're ready to go. They're ready to move up and shoot these, these wall artillery down. Unfortunately, there's only one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if the defenders have a some scorpions or if they just forgot to bring... Uh, Ballistas. Yeah. Uh, to wrap up the rest of Masilla, he does have one mobile onager back here, so that's going to be good to see his general and another unit of Massilian Cav. Actually, the Massilian Cav is tucked way over here on the right flank of Egypt. Probably to watch this back pass to see if anything comes out of this rear gate. Be uh, pretty accurate to, to make that assumption. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, here we have the final attacking army, Galatia, being commanded by Disclaimable. And it is a pretty standard uh, Galatia army composition. We do have seven units of Galatian swords, six units of legionnaires, one Levy Freeman. He is also bringing with him a giant ballista, three units of Syrian archers, one unit of Celtic slingers, and the general is, of course, a unit of noble horse. That's going to be... Uh, what do you think of that? I mean, it's pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard. I, I like Galatia. You know, they've got some very good mid-tier infant. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you on that. So, uh, now as we can see, this battle is actually a lot longer than the other one. Um, so, Minutes. that's, that's going to be kind of interesting to see what the defenders are going to be able to do. And, I mean, I don't know... Uh, we have to, we have to, we have to kind of put a little bit of faith in the defenders here with the factions that they chose. I mean, I know we can only see the wall artillery there, so we do have Carthage on the battlefield being commanded by Feel Shy Guy Man. <laughs> Again, that name is just—it <laughs> makes me smile every time I say it. Uh, then we have Sparta here with that uh, Sfer, Sferi Na N guy. 
And the other army on the battlefield for the defenders is Kush. What are you thinking of those three defenders? Definitely a much better selection, I would say. Okay. Well, are we uh, are we ready to kick this one off? I am ready to go. All right, so I will give the little three, two, one countdown start. All right. So do artillery firing. No, they're all behind. All right, wait a second. The Galatia Ballista is going to fire? Oh, yeah, no. they can fire. They can fire through their own towers? Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, we do have a piece of artillery way back up over here on the plateau near the town center. We do have a Spartan Greek, Greek yeah. scorpion. Well, they're going for the, uh... And Carthage's ballista is gone. Oh, God, that fast. Jesus. We didn't even, we didn't even do any damage to the uh, archer, either. Oh, God. No, you, you, like, I've... Most of the people that I know or play with have kind of learned that you see factions like Massilia or, um... Arverni. Arverni yeah. on the battlefield. Keep a slinger next to your next year ballista you know what i mean oh, keep a slinger next year ballista, fire will on if there's something right there they'll shoot right at it you know? oh absolutely i agree 100 percent, 100 percent uh does look like the galatian ballista is trying to take down this front corner here it's up to 22 percent damage and uh who's that is that uh, that's egypt over here firing so they're both firing on the same wall here Trying to make a couple of breaches. One right next to the uh, artillery emplacement, and one on the on the corner. Mm-hmm. And I did just notice real quick. If you kind of gander in onto this front courtyard here, a lot of these fences are knocked down. So I wonder if the defenders either had you. I mean, you, I can. I just saw another section of fence just fall down. Seeing a yeah, bunch of stiff. So I'm guessing. Away. I'm guessing they're running away. Yeah. So maybe they. Ooh 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 ooh. Catch Kush and yep. Carthage. Generals? Generals coming out. What? Wow, that's I, I got I gotta be honest here and say right here, this fast into the battle, that's a ballsy move. That is a ballsy I... move. And they also did not notice Massilia's cav cavalry. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I would have done that personally. I, I, I actually, I'm, I'm going to say 100%. I would not have done that. <laughs> would not have brought out my cavalry general units. No, not two of them for sure. I mean, they're solid cavalry. It's noble. They are good. And and Kushite Royal Guard. They're very good cavalry, but it's generals. It's generals, Dude. man. <laughs> Supported as well. Uh, There's nothing there to back up. Yeah. I think what's going to happen, Galatia and Massilia are going to try to pin some. Well, we do have the Noble Horse General for Galatia making his way over. I don't see, is the is the Massilian Cavalry is still sitting in the woods. He has moved his position a little bit. But no, I do see Carthage. Oh, no, the, well, Kush is coming back. No, Carthage is coming back also. Who's playing cat and mouse here right now? Um... I think that the defenders are trying to play cat and mouse when they don't realize that the shark is uh, that they're playing cat and mouse while the shark is is circling them from behind. Yeah, I mean, I did see the noble horse general there. He was being shot at, but none of his guy. He's still 80, 80 strong. So that tower, unfortunately for the defenders, did not get any kills. <laughs> how are these? Uh, how are these wall sections looking here? See. 67, 67 on the corner and 67 on the flat. Okay, so the walls are getting close. Would you be Low calculated attack here? Yeah. Would you uh, would you be focusing on knocking down these wall on knocking down both of these wall sections, or would you have one of these? I would probably be using the Egyptian one to just plaster this front area. Um. I mean, like you risk the you risk the chance that there's nothing in that area and you're wasting ammunition. I don't mind having you know getting these two ways into the settlement. 
you know, it, it does allow you just a slightly better advantage of being able to get through, you know, different ways than just towers. Mm. Well, so, actually, I mean, there's still a of ammo left, that's for sure. Oh, well, I was just about to say, it looks like Egypt is actually trying to knock down another section of wall. He's gotten it up to 22% here now already. Now that, I don't think you... I don't think you really need it, to be honest, at this, like, right now, just from what I'm seeing of their, uh... Of the defense that's starting to pop up, I I don't. Well, I mean, there's a couple kills hidden, and you, you can see some dead bodies in the courtyard now. Yeah, looks like uh, definitely Spartan unit. I don't I don't hop know what's light. yeah hoplite type sure. unit. Uh, Kush is starting to push his general back out again a little bit. He's kind of moving a little further away from oh, no, Noble Cav is moving for Carthage now. Also, look, I don't I still don't know. I don't I don't like that. I know yeah, I, I'm not we've sure said it a couple of times, but I, I don't like this this two general thing out here. I don't like that. I, I'm not. I just don't un, like. They're completely unsupported. They're completely exposed. You know, I I don't. I think it's an unnecessary risk. Uh, starting to see a little bit of more of Carthage here. I am seeing a ton of hoplites, different types, but a ton of hoplites. Good choice. Yeah. No, I, I don't personally think... I'm not a hoplite guy. I don't like units that stand there and don't do anything. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I'm typically a more aggressive player, so hop, you know, hoplites, they just sit there. Yeah. You know, and I, I'm just not a fan. Well, I, you know, in the end, the name of the game is to kill people, and hoplites aren't always very good at that. True, true, definitely true. But would you say... Just to, to argument's sake here, as we're still waiting for this bombardment phase to end, and definitely, I'm definitely still keeping an eye on the two generals out there. Uh, but would you say that maybe it would be good for the amount of hoplites for them to have, uh, because of the archers that they're able to bring, that these three factions can have? Would you say that it might be a little bit more beneficial for them to hold choke points instead of just trying to get kills um, with, their, with, their, I... with their spears? I should say. I feel like when you go for hoplites, you are going for the long game, and going for the long game is just really risky, you know what I mean? Mm. Instead of going for, I want to win, and I want to win now, you're saying, I want to win in 60 minutes, <laughs> you know what I mean? So especially, like, here's the thing, what's Carthage's ally? Carthage's ally is Sparta. What does Sparta bring, Joe? Spears. All hoplites. That's what I'm looking at, yeah. So, what is the point of Carthage bringing hoplites? True. You know, I'm okay with bringing some hoplites to have some stuff to hold, but you have an entire faction that all they can bring is hoplites. So, why would you bring hoplites? True. Definitely true. I, yeah, I see what... Oh, God. Front breach point on Galatia's side. Galatian swords already up there tossing their javelins. Getting into these Spartan then, hoplites here. Uh, Coming in on the Spartan hoplites as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's archer fire. Yeah, that is a lot of spears. Jesus, that is a lot of spears. Yeah, I, I personally just think it's a... I don't know. I, You know, I get the impression, and I, I mean this in no way as an insult to anyone, but I do get the impression that these defenders are relatively new. Um, just because it is kind of a trap that newer players can run into with 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 hoplites is, well, they're easy, and they are easy. So for newer players who maybe aren't quite as good with micro yet, it's a kind of a it's a comforting feeling to have a unit that you can just put in one spot and you never have to worry about it, right? Yeah. But in the end, you think about it and you know they need to kill stuff too so it's kind of a trap and so that is kind of the feeling again i think that's why they've done that oh the arty fire coming into oh. that carthaginian hoplite unit there yeah i just caught that that was a hell of a rip hell of a rip right talking. there you can see it just coming through and i was like oh man i don't think they're even going for it no, looks I like they're actually going yeah I, I think they're going for another wall section to get brought down I don't mind this because they have fixed artillery. They only have a limited range on their artillery. Mm -hmm. So if if the defense gets pushed all the way back to the point, then 
your arty is going to be useless anyway, so you might as well use the ammunition to get as many points open as you can, or as many kills as you can, you know, in the process. I was just about to actually say that there, with what going by what you said, but if the defenders pull back to the point, wouldn't it be... I mean, I get the, get the uh, opening more doors, absolutely, I understand that, but do you think it would be more beneficial for the attackers to just be... Because, I mean, if we can see all of this... They're seeing it because this is the attacker's viewpoint. Would you be shooting all this crap that's standing in here? Um, you know, like you could, but I, I, I definitely don't think I mind the idea of having that extra breach to be able to get into, like, uh, just another angle to get into the settlement. Because that's always the hardest part about settlements, like, especially like barb settlements, is getting into the walls. You know what I mean? It's. It's getting that first initial foothold, so the more breaches you can make in the wall, the harder it is for the defenders to keep you out. And yeah. so I don't mind it. I think I think it's okay to concentrate on getting the walls first and then move on to deciding if you know do I hit more units now or so I, I don't mind what the, what they've been doing. Okay. Uh, while we were while you were just talking there, I saw that Sparta had a unit up defending that breach point they kind of moved back a little bit to let the glacian swords come in did see a unit of kushite slave infantry charged in onto the back of the spartan hoplites and then both of the units pulled back and now sparta has a better front line i just don't know why i don't know why kush charged in there first off and i don't know why they pulled back i'm wondering if maybe they decided to put the kushite slave in to kind of allow Sparta to cleanly disengage me? That's possible. That is definitely possible. Actually, now starting to notice the archers that Sparta has brought with him, uh, at least the one that I can see, is Helic Hel Archers. Um, I, I really hope he has Cretans somewhere. Uh, <laughs> That's my... Uh, he does. Nope, no, he has two Helot, Helot Archers, at least, that we can see. Yeah. There's one in the main corner... And then there's one more to the left over by the generals of uh, Car of Kush, and there's another hell oh, archer I see there. Him, I see him, I see him right there, okay. Another breach in the corner now. Oh, they did knock down? Wow, they Thank did you. knock down another one. Ooh. But now it's going to be harder for the defenders to defend all this. Oh, look at the archers in the back, Carthage's archers. Oh no! Oh god! Going. Iberian swords down to 144. Cretans down to 110. Another unit of Cretans only lost two. Gee, that was a good shot, though. Yeah. Definitely oh, did it down. That one looked like it was only a couple, though. Uh, now we have some Galatians. Uh, sorry, Galatian legionnaires actually hit a uh, hit a gap here. Up near the front, breaking through two units of the Carthaginian hoplite and a late Libyan hoplite getting into the Kush slave infantry to actually, yeah. actually had to force Libyan javelins. So that's three units of his ranged that we can see so far. Oh no, that's all four. He's got, he does have four. Okay, he's got the three Cretans. And then the one Libyan javelin. Yeah, what was the... Was the that was a nice move there getting the... Uh, the flank on the the Galatian legionary, but the uh, the javelin men just got annihilated by like twelve. <laughs> yeah. Almighty! Holy Look crap! Look at those arrows coming in. How are there even eleven guys left? How is there even six guys left oh. in that unit? <laughs> That's the hardest part about this corner is that it allows so many angles. So, you know what I mean? If you're defending on one side, you can be shot from the other. Mm -hmm. If you're defending on the other side, you can be shot from the other side. Oh, you know, absolutely. it just creates a nasty cross. Yeah. Oh, we got Kush uh, General, Kush General, Kush General. I don't uh, know. Zero kills. Uh, he just charged into two units of Galatian swordsmen and now some full yeah, action. Zero kills. Zero kills. And he lost. It has ten lost. Um, Bad start. Think that was uh, a useful move. 
I answered your question before you even asked it. <laughs> uh, I think they're generals right here. If they are not extremely careful. Yeah. You have each coming to one side. You have the Massilian Cav waiting to cut him off. Mm -hmm. Well, never mind, because Galatia pulled his gen off. I thought he was going to pursue with his... Would you? Uh, mm, it's risky, just because uh, that Noble Cav is... Like, both of these cav units are extremely dangerous. Would I risk the the uh, the the Kush or the Carthaginian general? No. But I also would not risk charging them. Uh-oh. Kush general Massilian just cap. found the Massilian cavalry. Yeah, the Massilian cap's gonna have an issue there. Time to run. You're lighter. You should be able to get... Well, uh, yeah, yeah, they're lighter. They're medium. Yeah, we should be able to get out of this. I don't know how they're keeping up with them. I don't know how they're keeping up with them either. I mean, I wouldn't imagine that Kush has a uh, better speed movement through forests. They're a Quick desert the faction. <laughs> All right, let's. So I'm going to swing back around over uh, here. Our fire just coming in here is just disgusting. Yeah. But the defenders have, nothing, have done nothing about it. Their archers are nowhere to be seen to counter any of this. And at this point, they can't counter it. Yeah. The, the attacker have the full initiative on the archer fight, so mm -hmm. like they don't need, you know, the defenders don't need to do anything. Now, Kush, I guess Kush's archers came over and are doing some stuff. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty good unit, Kushite archers. They're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. They're actually not. not they're actually not much worse than. Or they're not. They're not that much lesser of an archer unit than the royal archers. So. Pretty good archers there. We do have some showtels. Actually, I see two, two units of showtel warriors for Kush so far. Massilian calves gone. Oh, they they get round. Oh wow, yep, yeah, they, they got, got them. Yeah, I see a couple showtels. Um, three showtels, four, five showtels. I see at least five. Okay, yeah, while I was over there in the woods, I do see... I see what you see now. They, they, they just showed back... They showed I up a little bit I see what you see. I see what you see. Um, I think we've got a pullback here. Uh, yeah, it's definitely looking like I'm seeing oh. some Spartan units pulling back rather quickly here. But this, this one Spartan hoplite unit that has just gotten crashed into on the rear and side by this Celtic warrior unit kind of lost some guys... Now more javelins coming in by the Galatian swordsmen there for Egypt. And look, look Masilla has all of his heavies back here. So he's he's sent in a couple of units of Celtic warriors so far. Yep. Oof. Galatian legionaries are now getting into some uh, Spartan hoplites that aren't doing anything. Mm. They're just standing there. Not good. Not good. I unfortunately I hate to say already a it's not going well. Oh no, I, yeah, I would absolutely agree with you. I would definitely agree with you. Now for here where we're seeing the cart the, the Cretan archers, would you have them firing right now at some of the infantry that's coming in or would you just pull them back now? No, I'd pull them back just because anything you're gonna shoot at right now, you're gonna be shoot them right in the shield and it's just gonna not it's not gonna do the damage you need. Spartan Jen's getting shot at now. Oh, I didn't even see him there. Oh, no. Royal Spartans have lost three. Oh, God. Might lose some... Just look at these arrows coming down onto this poor general. Like, run away! Run fast! Fast run! run. Fast. Oh, God. Oh, this is a juicy... Uh, the Spart Look where the Cretan archers are. That is a juicy artillery hit waiting to happen. Oh, absolutely. Two units yeah, it's stacked Spartan up like that. Periquay spears, African pikes, three units of Cretans all sitting in a tight little area. I, I, now, now I'm wondering, do you think Egypt maybe uh, shouldn't have knocked down that second breach because he would have had a perfect shot in there? Maybe, maybe. I bet he's thinking that, like, damn, I wish I had a couple shots. 
But I mean, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, you know. Oh, absolutely. It's always, always 2020, especially it's easier, it's easier 20... for us. We're, we're covering them, so it's always easier for us to pick out things. <laughs> I think we a lot of wasted arrows here. Uh, Celtic warriors getting shot by Sparta's Cretans. I just, I don't see why you shoot that unit. Yeah. I, I mean, kills are kills, but I think there's better units you could be using those are arrows. I would absolutely agree. I mean, Egypt, there's a couple of units of thorax well, coming about in here Well, how about sitting right there? Yeah, exactly. The Cretans are about to get smacked by Syrians. Oh, no. Yeah, I see the Syrians lining up here. Yeah, I mean, the the uh, the Syrian or the Cretans for uh, Sparta are still shooting Celtic warriors as well. And Carthage's archers are doing nothing. Yeah, just They're not even there. firing. Now he's going to try and run them away. This unit's going to lose wrecked. a lot. This one unit here is just getting destroyed. Yeah, he's going to lose it. Maybe uh, not. He might get away. Might. Yeah, he's going to... Yeah, but the amount of damage that was done to that unit is even yep. worth... Is it even worth having that unit anymore? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, kind of. Maybe. 38 bows firing instead of 120? I mean, it's better than zero bows firing. True, true. I <laughs> uh, see Galatia over here on his side trying to break through some of these Libyan hoplites. I don't think that's going to work out. I mean, the one unit of the uh, Galatian swords just shattered. These legionnaires, they might be able to get through this one unit. This they should unit. be able to. But uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe he's just trying to get over here to at least just neutralize the gate. One of these, uh, one of these legionaries has 262 kills. Oh my god. It's the one kind of between the houses. I see him now, yep. The other one behind him has 272. Jeez, dude. That's crazy. Thorax. Iberian sword's getting melted. Yeah. Oh god. I think that's kind of just been the story here, is it just seemed like some wasted troops here. Mm-hmm. You know, troops dying with no kills. Yeah. Yeah, that was an entire Iberian sword without a single kill on it. It's just gone. Yeah. I don't know how this second unit has two kills, though. I don't know what they what they did to get the two kills, but <laughs> I see this second unit Maybe of Iberians. Maybe they're Gavis. Maybe. That was a pretty, that's a pretty far throw, though. <laughs> I, I don't know. But it looks like they're on their way. Yeah, they're gone. And now the Cretan archers for Sparta are firing onto some Galatian swordsmen, I see. Yeah. And now the Galatian swords just gonna now Syrians are moving up. If you can get all of those Cretans to fire on these Syrians, you might be able to pull something off. But now you also have Egypt's Cretans coming up as well, so mm -hmm. combo of the Cre of the Egyptian Cretans and the Galatian Syrians is gonna be very tough. Then Artie fire from Assyria, shooting up onto the hill. No. Shooting right into those archers. Where is right his now, artillery piece? There it is. Oh no, I see the artillery got a perfect now. Shot. Oh, oh, perfect shot right Jesus. onto that hill. <sighs> that is rough to see. That again, that's that's very rough to see. Pikes coming in between the two houses next to the gate. That'll cause the, uh... Now the issue is here, I guarantee you that you're about to see at least six archers are going to start firing on this pipe. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Not nine, because there's nine that are available to shoot here. <laughs> yeah, we do see the Legionnaires pulling off, so yeah, they're definitely going to start firing over here. Yeah, he, he's going to try and get the pike the hell out of there. Good move. Good move. And he, if he doesn't he, get shot in the process. He, he, well, he's, he's looking like he's getting around the back of the house there, but I'm actually good. It was good to see that uh, he lifted the pikes up so they wouldn't be walking. They yep, did, they'd yep. have the better speed to run away. I would leave them behind that house, though. I wouldn't, because he's putting them back out on the road there where the Iberians were. Syrians are wasting ammo on a uh, Cretan here with no, am or with no ammunition on it. The Syrians are shooting that Spartan Cretan. It has no ammunition. Yeah. So some wasted ammo there from Galatia. A little bit. But I mean, we've all done it. Yeah. 
I mean, let's just take a real quick look at some of the archers here for the attackers. Uh, Syrian archers, 213, 263, 259. And they're still shooting. And they're still shooting. And then we get the Egyptians, the Nubian bowmen, 97. Uh, Cretans, 156, 150, and 183. And I did see the Kush general really quick. Looked like he ran through the town center. Uh, so he has I come back inside. Back. Look, I don't see I don't see the Carthaginian one out here anymore either. So hopefully they did bring them back. Oh, they brought the scorpion up, but now the crew is just getting shredded, man. Oh yeah, yay. Mm. Well, yep, crew's get the there goes the scorpion. Yeah, it's gone. She gone. Well, you know, sometimes. Uh, these videos, we we get the opportunity to re by by showing these videos, we get the opportunity to let people see mistakes or you know better themselves. You know what I mean? Give yep. them give them a little bit of advice, things that we. I guess all we want to do is help people learn and get better and provide fun stuff. You know what I mean? Absolutely, I absolutely agree. Uh, I do see that the African African pikemen did push up again, and now they're getting shot. Massilia's archers to get the are hell out of there now. There. He's trying to run him away. That hoplite unit got shredded. Probably some of it was from the legionnaires and the swordsmen there, but I bet the archers had a lot to do with it. So between the houses here isn't looking very solid anymore either. That, it's actually open that now. That pike is going to have to run the gauntlet. Yeah. I don't know. He just went in pike formation and he turned his back. Don't! No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. It's not looking good. Oh, man. He turned around to defend against the, the Thorax Sword from Egypt and just got shot to living hell in the back by, by Egypt's archers. Oh, and he's getting... Well, the one thing that I can say here... Now, I don't know exactly because we can't see what all the defenders have. The attackers only... There's only 17 minutes left in this replay. Yep. So that could be beneficial for the attack for the defenders. Could be. I mean, we don't know what they have back here at the town center. Hopefully they have something back there. Yeah. I uh, man. It's kind of tough. Kind yeah. of tough. Now we have a unit of Periochi Spears running for their lives from some Celtic warriors, uh, Celtic, uh, yeah, Celtic warriors there. Periochi Pikemen holding the top of this hill now. Two Chotels behind them. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Periochi Pikemen. I mean, me personally, I'm not a fan of Pikemen anyway because they never do what I want them to do. Uh, <laughs> but the Chotel warriors backing them up could be uh, pretty good. Yeah, um, it's gonna be a lot of archer fire about to hit this pike, though. Yeah. And also artillery fire. That Greek Onager is still sitting right there. Yeah. I think he's trying to line. He's not doing anything right now with it. He's not firing yet, but he does have one aimed right for this line. But the Javi fire into the pikes. Yeah. The Celtic warriors and the uh, Galatian legionaries are just sitting there throwing their jab. And the pikes are moved. Would you have moved them? Um, I would have maybe put the the showtel in first. Yeah. Then moved them, get the Celtic engaged, and then try to get them out. Yeah. Do have uh, what is that firing? Is that is that these Cretans back here for Carth? Yeah, Cretan Carthage archers firing into Celtic warriors again. Now the Shotels are going in. Yeah. Periochi eyes are pulling back, kind of. Looks like they're just trying to reform their line. Now the Shotels are about to get caught out. They're mm -hmm. they moved. Yep. They're exposed. Their flank is looking at the attackers, so the attackers are looking. They put no. Oh, they went shield wall. That's why. Yeah, but they Just, shield walled in the wrong direction because and now they're getting side flanked. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh no. What? Where? Oh, you'll see. With the show tells. 
Jesus. Oh. Ow. That definitely... Oh, that one hurt poor... Oh, God. That's painful. Oh. Very, very painful. Masilla. Masilla. Zoidius, you... Oh. You dirty man. Yeah. <laughs> And Egypt still has ammo. He's shooting at Kush's archers now. Well, also, look at... Egypt still has a ton of infantry. He hasn't they all moved. have a ton of infantry. I know, but I'm just like, Egypt hasn't hasn't had to do anything. They're making I don't like such... Sparta's defense here. No. Look at his, yeah, his no. line. Yeah. The catty corner thing, it's just... No, I'm not a fan of it. Make a straight line, boys. Straight... Yeah. I guarantee you these Thorax swords are just going to sit there and throw their jabbies. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, nasty. Wow. Yeah, just disgusting. And then the Artie's firing again. Oh, uh, I actually... Artie's the 176. Already? Yep. Yeah. And look behind Kush's show tells. Oh. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Carthaginian general. I actually swung over near the town center. I Sparta! Do the, the, Sparta, no! What's he doing? Just... Just wait. Look where... Look where... Show, look where Kush used to be. Right? Uh-huh. What what's not there anymore? Anything. Anything. So now look, look where Sparta is. Yeah, he's cut off. Completely cut off. I this see that the uh, the Kush Scorpion is firing. He he's got thirty five kills. I just haven't been able to pinpoint exactly what he's firing at yet. Don't know where he's shooting. I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, he's firing over here near the gate at some Galatian swords. The unit is down to 93. Oh, miles. yep. Yep. I don't know if I'd be firing there. I, I think there you have much worse things to worry about. Yeah. Like, I really think that I would be trying to get that scorpion to angle to maybe try and get some shots onto this onager. Or I would have been. Maybe not now. I mean, the onager's up to 178 kills. I don't know how much ammo he still has. But I, I think I would have tried to use that scorpion to try and get this onager out of here. Or at least I'm not sure what the card the Jenny and Noble Cav is doing. Yeah, I see him. Oh, he went oh, he over. battle rhythm. That oh, okay. 1126. Oh, now this unit of Perioke pikemen are getting shot by who? I just saw the arrows come across. Yeah, I think. archers here. The Gallic Hunters. Firing right over the building into them, pulling them back again. Push from Galatia, and yep. nothing to nothing to stop it. I mean, they're sending the Carthaginian general in to try and do something. I guess they tried to finish breaking that Celtic warrior unit, but this Chateau warrior unit's not going to be able to hold back all of these Gala these legionnaires. <laughs> Definitely now not. Chateau's defending and. I, man, I just don't see why Sparta stayed over there, you know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Well, that's I mean, not where the point is. The point is over here, and now Sparta can't defend it. Yeah. It's rough. It's rough, but, you yeah. know, yeah. we we all, we, I have to say, we all started off somewhere. Again, you know, like, like, like you had mentioned, it, it kind of seems like the, uh, the defending army here is, is a little bit of newer players. So hopefully they do take this tournament as a uh, learning point, a learning curve, and get to learn from, see some of the mistakes that they made, and you know bounce back and maybe come back for another tournament somewhere down the road. Yeah, sure hope so. Sure hope so. You know, we always we always need new, fresh players. Absolutely. Uh, I'm noticing here actually now back here for Kush. I see two units of slave infantry, full units of slave infantry, behind Kush Chotel warriors. 
Uh, yeah, I'm not. Why? Why are they? I don't know they why not... they're still alive. Like, <laughs> I don't know why they're not. Yeah. Why they haven't been pushed out? Ooh, Kush General. Oh, I thought he was going to go around. He's coming in here, behind the rest of his soldiers. See, so Kush Jen could get quite a bit of kills over here by the gate. Absolutely. He could have. He could have. That thin line of Galatian swords would not have stopped him. Especially if the noble calf or Carthage had gone over. Mm hmm. Starting to have a little bit of a fall here for Sparta. Got a unit of hoplites wavering. Second unit morale not looking good at all. They're probably on their way out. Yeah, their line is all jacked up now. They're completely uh, surrounded. Uh, well, Spartan General's trying to do something. He's he's trying to cut into the back of his Thorax Swordsman unit, but as I said, he's trying to cut into the back of them, which is opening his back for yep. this unit of... Celtic Warriors. Well, this unit of Celtic Slingers to fire straight yep. into his back. Oh, Jeez. my God, that hurts so bad to watch. It's, uh... It's just painful. I mean, look at their cloaks. They're so covered in blood. Oh, that's painful. That is very painful. Sir, we're being shot in the back. Don't worry about it. Kill these bastards. Keep fighting, men. <laughs> oh, I think you are a couple of seconds ahead of me because I just saw the Celtic warriors come in and launch a volley into the back of the Royal Spartan General now. Greasy from Kush here. Mm hmm. You'll see it in a sec. Ooh, Carthaginian general went out. Thank God. He did. He smashed through those uh, Glacian swords. Now getting into the Syrian archers. I'm still Ooh. wondering what you were saying with Kush, though. I'm uh, watching. It's over by his front line. Are we looking at the general? Who? What, what, what unit are we looking at here? Uh, Showtel Warriors. Showtel Warriors, okay. They snuck around the side now. Oh, I in see that, I see that. Team. Okay. I see that now. Uh, Galatian General was has now charged and pushed the Noble Cav General for Carthage back. Actually, Noble Cav General, 103 kills. He got up to 103 yeah, nice kills. Team. And I don't, think how we, I don't think he was very involved in that wood section over there with the Massilian Cav. I'm pretty sure a lot of that was the Kush General. <laughs> <laughs> but Kush General's only at 50 so maybe maybe Carthage did get some kills in that forest over there it's possible uh, not really hearing any here many... like hotels are doing some work but it's just I think it's too little too oh it's there they're not gonna they I mean they're fantastic they are fantastic units but I mean with the just now now with Sparta falling all of these extra thorax swordsmen, Galatian swords coming in. These Shotel warriors aren't going to be able to hold. They're not going to be able to hold. Uh, uh, and this this flank on the other side where the Carthage general is going back out again. It's just two units of Kushite slaves. And, and I'm sorry, not even Kushite slaves. Regular slave infantry. Yep. yep. So even now, this flank is not very well protected. And it's good charge on that noble cav. Or mm -hmm. the other yeah, noble uh, Noble cow, or noble horse, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, might be able to do some good damage there. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Uh, we do have some Galician swords here. They have 59 kills. They, they, they're moving out in front of the noble horse general, though. I'll be able to blunt it. Yeah. Yeah, and I saw the Carthaginian in general was using diamond attack again, which really isn't that. It's useful. not beneficial, no. It's, it's that's that's uh. <laughs> Using Carth using ca uh, cavalry with the diamond formation to me is the same as using uh, explosive shot on your artillery. It's good for cinematics. I'll give you that. <laughs> effective, not very Man. much. Not a very high effectively uh, effectivity rate, if that's a word. I don't think it is. Not really, no. <laughs> but yeah, this center here is just getting mobbed now. Egypt is just. With 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 Sparta falling, uh, the attackers aren't sending anything around. To be uh, honest with, 
I'm I'm a little surprised that they're not sending anything, especially Masilla here. I mean, he's got uh, I don't know 19 units of Thorax swordsmen just standing here. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not that they need to. I'm just kind of surprised they aren't. <laughs> well, it would probably be uh, pretty beneficial for them to do it. I mean, they they could definitely. Oh, wait, actually, I see the noble horse general starting to move a little bit for uh, Galatia. Yeah. See what he's going to try and you do. Down to four minutes Ooh. and six seconds. Oh, here comes the noble horse. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That is definitely gonna hurt. No, he lost his charge. He did? That's painful. I think he got hung up on the, like, on the pathing. Oh, and yeah. It, uh, his unit just stopped. Oh, no. That sucks. That definitely man. sucks. I've had that happen to me so many times. <laughs> Lost a lot of units there yeah. when he should have he should have done a ton of damage there. Yeah. And another big pullback. Um I wow. think we're, I think we're seeing everything the defenders still have here. Yeah, I agree. And it looks like their strongest unit is probably one of the worst units of pikes in the game. The uh, Noble Cavalry for uh, Carthage is gone. Oh, no. Broken. With uh, 50-something men in it. Noble Cav General with 50 men. Broken. Gone. Unbelievable. They get Kushite Pikes, Shotel Warriors around the point now. Yeah, but see, they're on the wrong side. Because the, the um, attackers are going to be able to just get right in there and start neutralizing yeah. Yeah. I think they're just trying to hold it for as much as they can. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I see the Noble Horse General is still coming over here just trying, just making sure that that Carthaginian General doesn't think about coming yeah. back. See, the Kush General just showed up for me, though. Yep, yeah, he's over here by the gate. Noble Horse going in on the Kushite Royal Guard, Jen. It's pretty... That's pretty even. Your bikes are actually going to get some kills. Oh, man. Wow. All right, now I, I'm just going to sit on the Kushite bike unit here and watch their kill tick up. <laughs> because the, yeah, the Egypt just... Oh, coming. God, the archer fire coming in. Yeah, but it's, he's using flame shot. Yeah, he's using flame shot. I don't... Pointless. I spy the uh, Noble Horse General for Galatia coming around the back, so the Kush General is now gone. And this Pike Unit's day is about to get wrecked. There it is. Oh. Wow. Um, would you call this a decisive victory for the attackers? I like this is... I, th I honestly think the only reason it was this long is because they spent so long barraging the... Oh, that opening bombardment phase yes. added a decent amount of time? <laughs> I would agree with I you. I mean, spent a good ten minutes just taking down walls and stuff. Yeah. I did real quick, though, just, just how my, my camera is angled, I did see the Carthaginian General's flag start to come back to wavering. He's way back over here by the woods, but I did see his flag start flickering a little bit as he disappeared into the great fog of war. I don't know if that means anything. I, th I, th I don't think he's going to come back, but... Yeah, show tells are now starting to shatter. There it is. 14... I got 14 seconds left. Oh, how you end up so far off of me? I don't know. I do not know. Right, well, yeah. Close victory, they call this. Not. Not a close victory. Uh, so, last time you did Carpe Venom, so. Yes, sir. Good for me to Go take ahead. them this time? All right. So, let's start off right off the bat here with Agent Panda once my game catches up. 
to this. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to load out of battles for some reason. I don't know why it does that. There we go. Nope, now we don't. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Uh, so, Agent Panda here with Egypt, carrying Axeman General 80 kills, his pikes 89, his, wow, his archers, 199, 253, 168, even the Nubians 160, amazing. Uh, Thorax Swordsman, I see a 118 there, and a 93, 136, oh, sorry, 233, wow, I should have gone down the line a little bit further, uh, and then finishing off here with his Galatian Swords, fantastic. Wow, 179, 171, 110, 207. 26, 38 kills for Egypt. That's crazy. Uh, then we come into Massilla here, who I just see a whole bunch of zeros here at the bottom of his screen. All None of his Thorax Swordsmen got involved in this battle at all. Uh, his General 7 kills. His Greek Onager, 178 kills. His Gallic Hunters, 160, 133, 183. Celtic Warriors, 167, 116, 167, 114, Jesus, 171, 174, 121. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Just with the, Cold, with the Celtic Warriors. That's crazy. Uh, and then we come into Galatia here with Disclaimer. Well, his general, 136 kills. Ballista, 37. You know, okay. Uh, his, his Syrian archers, again, doing work. 213, 263, 266. His Legionnaires, just crazy numbers. 296, 305, 107, 362. Crazy. And his Galician Swords, I got a 134, 89, 133. And Levy Freeman, they, they got a kill. <laughs> That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It's the only thing we cared about seeing here was the Levy Freeman That's getting right. one kill. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for Cloud 69, for Sparta here, we've got 1,142 kills. His archers didn't do too bad, actually, 204 and 184. They were a lot of, like, Celtic warriors and stuff. Um, but, you know, his Royal Spartan Gen 70, his uh, Spartan Hoplites 143, 93. So not, not a ton there. Um, then Kush here with 1,545 kills. Um, his pikes ended up with 163 kills. Wow. Wow. <laughs> the show tells did really well. 143, 240, 127, and 136. Um, then finally, Carthage with 900. Um, you know, the Spears, man, the Hoplites. Mm -hmm. I think that really explains everything. Um, you know, his archers didn't do fantastic. He had one with 120, but then the Hoplites just... Not a single one of them over a hundred kills, you know. Um, so yeah, that is that's going to be it for this one, and I believe that that is a GG for Carpe Venom uh, for the round one uh, for the Coliseum. Am I right? I would say so. Yeah, I mean we can uh, double check the rules. Which again, I'm going to say I'm, I'm I'm sure that both of us will be putting the Discord link in the description below. So if you guys want to go on over there and at least check out the rules, like we said earlier. There are a lot of rules, so get out a uh, get out a light snack and uh, sit down. They're going to be a little bit to read. All right, Joe. All right, another successful video here. Another uh, you know solid battle. Doing this with me, I really you know it was a lot of fun as always. Absolutely, definitely, always a good time with you, man. All right. All right, guys, until the next time, I will talk to you soon.